What's up YouTube? So today I want to make a video all about this new piece of editing software called Skylum Luminar 4. And so you might have seen this advertised all over the internet for like the past six months. Me personally, I've seen it all over the place and I didn't really ever dive into what it was all about, but I had seen it advertised a ton. A couple weeks back I went to the Photo Plus Expo in New York City and there happened to be a booth for Skylum Luminar 4 and I saw sort of a demo of it. I got hands on with it for a couple of minutes and I was like, wow, this stuff is awesome. And so it's capable of doing a lot of different things. But the thing in my opinion that is most important or at least the most relevant to me, at least right now, at least with my awareness of the software is its ability to just completely replace the sky in your images. So me, for instance, there's been a ton of times in the past where I've gone off to a location, I've gotten there, I've only really had one day to explore that specific location and the sky and the weather just did not really pan out very well for me. Either it was a cloudy sky, the sunset didn't really light up the way I wanted it to or whatever. And so being able to replace the sky in your images with a piece of software like this that makes it super, super easy is gonna be extremely, extremely valuable. So today I wanna show you a little bit of sky replacement software and a little bit of a method for replacing the sky in your images and I wanna use three specific images from the past year of photography for me. So the first one is this image right here of the cliffs of Mower in Ireland. So I got here, literally was there on a work trip, so I got like an hour and a half to explore this place. As you can see, the light did not pan out the way that you would want it to, and so it was a really cloudy, crappy day. So I'm gonna show you how we're gonna completely swap out that sky and make it look awesome. The second photo, is this photo right here in Yosemite National Park of Half Dome. I'm gonna completely swap that out and make it look entirely different. And then finally, this is another picture in Ireland where the sky wasn't actually that bad. It was a nice blue sky day, but we're gonna enhance it a little bit and make it look a little bit better. So before we jump into the video though, definitely make sure you go down below, give the video a thumbs up. I'd really, really appreciate it and it helps out the channel a ton. So without any further ado, let's jump into some editing of these photos. So this very first photo, the Cliffs of Mower, I haven't made any changes to this at all so far. And I'm not going to make any changes actually before we pull it into Luminar 4. So. You're gonna need Lightroom for this and then you're gonna to need to install Luminar 4 separately. So I'll keep the links for that below. There's a 14 day free trial of Luminar right now. So that's definitely something that you'll be able to take advantage of. So the first thing we're gonna do is right click on this photo. We're gonna to go to edit in. And then once you have Luminar 4 installed, all it's gonna take is a quick click right there. You're gonna to wanna to click on edit, edit a copy with Lightroom adjustments, hit edit. It's gonna take a second to load. And then once it's finished loading, you're gonna see it just like this. It looks pretty similar to Lightroom actually, but it's a completely different piece of software with totally different capabilities. And so this is capable of a lot of similar functionalities to what Lightroom does. So if you go into here, you can see that you can make adjustments to the white balance, you can make adjustments to the exposure and things of that nature. I'm not gonna focus on that today. I'm sure that there's a ton to discover in here. And like I said, this software has only been out for like a week now, so I haven't had a ton of time to explore it. But the thing that I wanna focus on is sky replacement. So what we're gonna do, you can see on the right hand side here, there's a couple different tabs. We're gonna click on the second one down, creative and we're gonna go to AI Sky Replacement. And so what AI Sky Replacement means is it actually uses artificial intelligence, or at least that's what Luminar is saying. It uses artificial intelligence to detect where the horizon line is, and then it inserts a completely different sky into the background. It's really, really impressive, and I'm gonna show you how it works. So once you click on AI Sky Replacement, you're gonna click here and you can see that there's a bunch of different skies that you can choose from. So there's blue skies, bright blue skies, dramatic skies, dramatic sunset, galaxies, starry nights. There's a whole bunch of different stuff to choose from. So what I wanna go for in this picture is a dramatic sunset. And so let's click on this first one right here. And what I've been doing is kind of scrolling through them and figuring out which one I wanna do. So I don't really like the look at this one this one, not so much either. Just flip through them and figure out which one you like the most. So number three, also kind of on the fence about number four. This one looks the most natural in my opinion. And I can actually see over here that there's a little bit of sunlight, I guess, peeking out from behind the mountains. 
So I kind of want that to be over here. So there's actually a functionality if you dive into the settings that you can actually flip the sky with. So if I click on that, that makes the sun come over here. And you can see that the software does a really, really good job of blending the horizon line. So I didn't have to do any cropping or not cropping, but Photoshopping and cutting out or anything like that. And it's almost a perfect composite up against the foreground and the background. The software does a really, really great job. And so this right here, already is super, super impressive. And so the first thing that I'm gonna do here is crank up this setting right here. It's called Relight Scene. So you can actually crank this and it's gonna change the amount of editing or modifications to the foreground based on how much you crank this up. So the software actually has a specific editing characteristics associated with each different type of sky. So if you had like a really red sky, you could crank up a relight scene and it would relight the scene, completely change up the lighting of the scene to reflect what it would potentially look like if that sunset was actually happening in reality. So I cranked relight scene to 100 and like you can see, it kind of makes it a little bit more realistic looking. And I'm just gonna stick with that for now. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do to enhance this is really take advantage of the fact that there is this sun in the image right here. So you can see that there's also right under AI sky replacement, there's an option for sun rays. And the first thing you can do is click on this and place the sun center. So I'm going to place the sun center right over top of the sun in this background. And I'm just going to crank the amount of sun rays up. I'm going to probably do 10 and I think that that looks pretty good. And so if you hold down the backslash button right now, this is before and this is after. Before, after. Super, super, super impressive changes. I mean, it completely transformed that photo and that was ridiculously simple. So those two adjustments right there massively changed that photo. And that's all I really wanna focus on today is the AI sky replacement function and the sun rays function. So I'm gonna click apply. It's gonna process for a second. And once it's done processing, you'll see that it populates that newly edited photo into your Lightroom catalog. And so I'm gonna move on now to the next photo and we're gonna bang through these pretty quick. So if I go to edit in again on this second photo of Yosemite, I'm gonna click on edit in Luminar 4, edit a copy with Lightroom adjustments. Again, I haven't made any modifications or any edits to this photo yet. We're gonna do everything inside of Luminar. So once the photo is loaded into Luminar, we're gonna follow the exact same process as the first time. We're gonna click on the Creative Effects tab on the right hand side. We're gonna click on AI Sky Replacement. And I played with this photo quite a bit before making this video. And so I'm, I'm gonna know exactly where I wanna go with this one. I wanna do more or less like a starry sky type image where there's a galaxy behind Half Dome. And this is something that would be extremely, extremely difficult, if not completely impossible to achieve in the real world. But because of this software and the capabilities of the software, we're gonna be able to pull it off literally in seconds. It's kind of ridiculous. It's completely cheating. And so once we go to AI Sky Replacement, gonna go down to Starry Night 1, I think was the one I chose, and yep, that's it. And as you can see, already, instantly, without any effort on my behalf, completely transformed this image. And so based on the way that this was getting lit up, this was at like the very, very last couple minutes of sun, sunset, I think, yeah, it was sunset. The mountain was kind of getting lit up on this left-hand side. And just based on the way that this background is lit, I think I'm gonna reverse it again. So if I go to advanced settings and I flip the sky, it makes it look a little bit more natural. It's certainly not natural, but like if it was natural in any way, shape or form, I think that this is how it would look. And so again, like I did in that last one, we're gonna relight the scene and I think we're gonna crank it pretty close to 100. And that is pretty solid. As you can see, there's a couple different adjustments in here that you can make. I'm gonna ignore those. And uh, the one other really cool adjustment that you can make is if you go down to, I think it's this mystical one. And if you crank it up, you can see that it's got an interesting effect. It almost makes the image look softer, but when you zoom in and you look at the details of the image, it's not really taking away from the detail of it. I'm not entirely sure how it pulls off the look, but if I turn it off and then turn it back on, I'm not entirely sure how it pulls it off, but it looks really cool. It makes it look a little bit softer, but without detracting from any of the detail of the image. And so I'm gonna crank that up to like 25, and I think that gives it a pretty cool look. And uh, 
I'm going to leave it at that, guys. It's kind of ridiculous how easy this is, and it completely changes the background of the image. It's it's totally cheating. It's 100% cheating. I'll say that for sure. So apply that. It's going to process for a second. So once it's done processing, the image once again is going to land right in your Lightroom library. Super, super easy. And then you can export it to whatever format you want. And so the last image we're going to go into is this one right here. And you can already see that the lighting in this one wasn't nearly as bad as it was in the other ones. Not that the lighting in the other ones was bad, but it just wasn't exactly how you would want it to be. And quite honestly, we just enhanced it like crazy by using this cool software. So same procedure, edit a copy with Lightroom adjustments, let it load for a second. After it loads for a second, it's gonna pop up again in the Luminar window. We're gonna go over to the Creative Effects tab and I'm not even gonna swap the sky on this. All I'm gonna do is add sun rays like we did in that first image. So we're gonna place the sun center we're gonna drag it over here. And as you can see in this image, there was light that was kind of coming in from the right hand side and shining against all of these buildings up against this big church. And it was giving it this cool effect. And so what I wanna do is really exaggerate that and pretend like there's a massive sun star on the right hand side of this image. So I place the sun center right here and then I'm gonna crank up the amount of sun rays and we're gonna go right up to around 50 and I think that that's pretty good right there. And then once again in this, I'm gonna use that mystical effect again, because it gives it that cool, I don't know how to describe it. Honestly, if somebody below could describe what I'm seeing here, I can't put it to words. So if you could help me out with that, that would be awesome. But uh, we're gonna crank that up to 30, and we're just gonna completely leave it at that, hit apply, and that is that with that one as well. So guys, as you can see, this software is really, really interesting. It gives you the ability to completely transform images from something like this, a picture of the Irish coast with a super cloudy sky, to something like this, a nearly perfect sunset with the sun setting in the background and sun rays blasting into the photo. And it honestly, to my eye, if I didn't know what happened to this photo, I would think it was completely 100% real. This photo right here, I would probably question it a little bit, but the fact that it looks this clean in what took literally 45 seconds of editing is pretty ridiculous. And this doesn't look realistic just because of the fact that it's kind of a sunset and then a galaxy going on in the background. Like if you know anything about capturing photos and photography, you would instantaneously know that this is a composite. However, it looks really, really cool. Then the last one, this photo, just a very, very simple adjustment, being able to throw that sun star into the image to enhance the fact that the sun was coming in from the right hand side. I think it's cool. And to be quite honest, I consider myself more or less like a photography purist. I don't really like to have super, super crazy edited photos. I mean, I'll definitely like enhance fall foliage and stuff like that when I'm out taking pictures in the fall. But in terms of like composites and adding in completely separate effects to my images, it's not really my style. However, this is an interesting tool to add to the tool belt. In certain circumstances, I think it is necessary to use it. However, I'm definitely not gonna start throwing in galaxies and throwing in ridiculous sunsets to every single one of my photos. It's definitely a tool for the tool belt, but it shouldn't be used as a hammer for every single photo that you edit. Anyways, guys, I wanted to make this video today because I thought that this software was really interesting. I'd seen it advertised everywhere for the past like six months. I finally bought it and uh, there's a 14 day free trial. So you guys, if you're interested, can give it a shot. And it's really, really cool. I mean, it has some interesting functionality and to be quite honest, we've only scratched the surface of it. The only thing that I showed you guys was the AI sky replacement. I think there's a ton of tools in there for enhancing portraits and things of that nature that I haven't even touched yet. I've only been hands-on with this thing for a couple of hours at this point, And I really just wanted to make the video to get the word out about it and to show you guys because I think it's pretty damn cool. Anyways, guys, if you like the video, definitely give it a thumbs up. Like I said earlier, it helps out the channel so much. It helps other people to see these videos and it just helps bring more awareness to the stuff I'm creating over here. So I definitely appreciate that big time. If you like the video and you want to stay up to date on my future content, definitely hit that subscribe button down below and I'll plan on seeing you guys in my video next week. Peace.